Field mapping is an essential part of a successful data migration. Think of it like a translation service between your old database and SAM. Once you have an export of your old data, you'll need to translate the column names from whatever they were called into what they will be called in SAM. That way we'll know where the data is supposed to go. To map your fields, you'll want to open up your SAM site and navigate to Settings, then Tables and Fields. Here, you can either click on a table name to view all the available fields, or use the Tables and Fields report on the sidebar to quickly see every field available in your SAM. I'm looking for the SAM equivalent of a child's first name. From the child table, I can use Control F to search the page and find the field I need. Then I can copy the field name. Now I'm going to map the field. To do this, I'll create a new row above my old field names. Then I will enter the table name, followed by a space, a single hyphen, another space, then I can paste in or type the field name. Continue finding the SAM equivalents to map your data. You might notice that I haven't mapped this child ID field. That's because the SAM child ID field is not editable, as you can see here. Instead, I'm going to make a new field to put my system's old IDs into, just in case I ever need to reference them. Once you've mapped each column, you're ready to send the data for a migration. If you have any questions along the way, get in touch with our team or check out support.inreachsolutions.com for more information.